Skip Bayless made a very bold prediction on this show. He said that the Dallas Cowboys would win the NFC East. They would be in the playoffs. And Jada agrees. Absolutely yeah. not. Jada said the only way they're going to the playoffs is if they buy tickets, <laughs> is what he said. That was his exact comment that was during funny. the break. I'm going to give him that one. It's wrong, um, but it's funny. How do you see the NFC East playing out? Right now, NFC East, I like Chip Kelly and the Eagles. Smart man. Um, I would put... See, now it gets hard, doesn't it? I would put the Redskins second. Even with Kirk Cousins. I love Cousins. Mm. I love Cousins. I think he's good for the job. Then I would go... I'll give y'all the benefit. I'll put the Cowboys third. Yeah. Just, cause of, just for the love I got for you, Skip. <laughs> I do appreciate that. Um, so what has happened to your Giants? And Eli's defense, the new offensive coordinator, the new offense ain't. That Macadonia. Yeah, it's not, it's, not, it's not resonating with the team right now. They're looking crazy on offense. Victor Cruz ain't looking like itself. They're just looking out of sync. I don't know. I really don't have no. Answers, yeah. Yeah, I don't have no answers. They're just not looking like the big blue that we used to see. I see no discernible qualities within the New York Giants offense. And to be quite honest with you, um, <clears throat> I'm a Jerry Reese fan. I root for him. I think he's done a good job, uh, at least initially, over the last few years. You look at this roster, uh, the absence of talent that they've had, there's question marks about him. I do believe that Tom Coughlin is potentially a Hall of Fame coach. He's a two-time Super Bowl champion. We all know uh, the you know, he's in great shape. He's energetic despite his age. He, you know, he, he, he knows what he's doing. But there's something to be said for being someplace for so long yep. that you ultimately just need a new voice. And I look at the New York Giants. You've missed the playoffs four of the last five years, okay? You know, six of the last eight years. I mean, you ain't been around. And when I look at the New York Giants, and I'm saying that level of ineptitude, regardless of the fact that the last two times you made the playoffs, you ended up winning a Super Bowl, in the end, a vast majority of the time, you haven't even made the playoffs. There's a flagrant level of inconsistency that's there that simply – I, I, I got to tell you, Skip, Tom Coughlin since 2004 has two more Super Bowl championships than Bill Belichick. Who would you want as your coach? You'd want Bill Belichick, despite the fact that Tom Coughlin has two Super Bowl rings. You know why? Because every single year, Bill Belichick and the New England Patriots are winning 11-plus games, and you're in the mix. I'd rather be in the mix year after year after year with a legitimate shot at a Super Bowl championship, then win two Super Bowls two years, and then I'm irrelevant for the rest of the damn decade. That's me. And so, for, and don't get me wrong, the Super Bowls mean everything, but that level of consistency where you know you've got a legitimate shot every year matters. Now, obviously, you're going to look at Eli Manning, the 27 interceptions. That's not impressive. You look at Victor Cruz demanding the football, then they throw it to him, and he's dropping three passes, two in the fourth quarter. You look at Randall. You look at these boys. You're just saying to yourself, what the hell is going on? But at some point in time, you just may need a new voice. And when it comes to the NFC East, it's undeniable. The, the New York Giants are the worst team in the division. They are. It is unquestionable. Yet, I still think that defense is not a bad defense. Although they did give up, what was it, 25 points to Drew Stanton last Sunday? Not Carson Palmer. Drew Stanton played that game. So... Stephen A., are you sure you don't need a new coach? Is it is it possible that you need a new quarterback? Maybe both. Seriously. Maybe both. Because, Eli, once again, for the third time, second time, I guess, third time maybe, led the league in interceptions last year, and he's on pace again. Yeah. He, he's doing it again. He looks like he has he's hit the wall. He's gone over the hill. I, I don't know what's wrong with him, but it's sad to watch to me because he's always bounced back from his they, terrible years with a great year. They dropped about five or six of his passes yeah. last mm -hmm. week. So they really, they draw I me mean, flat out drops. So it's hard to say, you know, and, and again, when you give him a, just, just, just minimal weapons to work with. He's off ankle surgery. You know, too, right? and he's off ankle surgery. So I, I, but I'm not going by that. For me, when I look at Eli Manning, I'm just not impressed. Well, here's what bothers me about Eli most of all. Maybe one of the, uh, undisputably one of the greatest quarterbacks ever who's still in the NFL, 
happens to be your big brother, who you work Ooh. out with in the off season, yeah. who you can pick up the phone and call anytime during the season. Yeah. I mean, how are you this bad <laughs> when you are literally related by blood to someone this good? As much as you like Chip Kelly, I thought the Cowboys played the heck out of last year's Eagles, and the mm. Cowboys were terrible. And they went to Philly and won 17 to 3, and I still don't know how they did it, but they did it against Chip Kelly and company and Nick Foles and company. And in the, the last game of the year, they, they were right there until the end. Remember that? And that was without Romo. So I think they match up well with the Eagles, which is why I'm sticking with the Cowboys if Romo can play. You can't do it with just Dez. It ain't going to work. What about DeMarco? Yeah. DeMarco, he ain't, well, he ain't cutting it. It seems like only Dez out there. You know that, Skip. He's catching everything. And he's feeling, and he's banged up too right now. He's always banged so up. So Tony and Dez banged up ain't a good look How for the Cowboys. How many yards did DeMarco Murray rush for last week? What is it, 167? That was a great game. I mean, listen, listen. Uh, the last half, of, uh, last part of last season, he was the third leading rusher in the league last half of last season. This year, he's averaging more than five yards a carry. I don't think the problem is DeMarco Murray. I think the problem is that the Dallas Cowboys don't give him the ball. Enough. Enough. Yeah, maybe. So a combination of that with Des Bryant, if they follow that formula that they did last week, Cowboys could make some noise, but I still don't think they're going to be better than the Eagles in this division.